What's up, guys? Hey, this is Christian Brindle with Six Figure Medicare Agent, and we're back with another video. But before we get into this video, guys, I got to talk to you about my favorite telemarketing lead company, and that is Lead Heroes. Guys, Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to your telemarketing needs. Guys, they have highly trained and effective callers that will essentially take the hard work of making cold calls out of it for you. They're going to contact their own data. They're going to find people and they're going to essentially pre-qualify them to make sure they're number one interested and number two qualify for what your services entail. And they got you covered guys for that. When it comes to Medicare supplement leads, turning 65 leads, final expense leads, they think they just got something for everybody, guys. Um, they should be included in your marketing attack in 2021 in some shape or form. Um, and just because you watch this video, Lead Heroes is going to give you 10% off all leads. The coupon code can be found down in the description as well as a link to over to the Lead Heroes website. Go over and check it out. Anyway, guys, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Um, I think that something should be said. And that is, how should you be approaching um, clients when you're building your business, right? When you're building a book of business, how should you be approaching your clients? And if you're working with agents, how should you be teaching your agents to approach your clients? In my personal opinion, my friends, I have always had the best success in my own business when I'm taking the approach of being an educator for people giving without necessarily requiring something in return. Now it doesn't mean you don't it doesn't mean that you want to, you know, skip out on basic things, you know, like asking for the sale, um, essentially having having an intention of being able to kind of work with a client. Um, but at the end of the day, your approach is not to be so car salesy and more so just to help out and just to be educational and just kind of teach them about what their options are, the good, the bad, the ugly, help them find the best available product for what fits their needs and situation. Guys, I've, I've sound like a broken record because I've said this so many times over the years, but that's how you build a loyal um, and wonderful group of clients that you can work with. They're people that will shout your praises from a hilltop, right? That's how you get a lot of referrals. It's just, you're, you're essentially being very selfless in your approach. Like you're not taking into consideration what's best for you as an agent in terms of what you can sell. You're taking into consideration what you feel like is going to be best for them, right? And you're, you're, you're taking their needs into consideration. You have absolutely zero agenda whatsoever on what kind of plan you're going to be able to, to set them up with. It's just all based on what their needs are. And that, in my opinion, is how you build a, 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 a client base in 2021. And the reason I say this, guys, is because the, the, the tactics, the old school, like high pressure sales tactics from like the 1980s, 1990s and stuff. I'm not saying that it doesn't work nowadays. Um, like, you know, the whole Wolf of Wall Street kind of stuff. I'm not saying that it doesn't work nowadays, right? Because I think it clearly does. I do not believe that it builds long-term clientele, right? And our business is all about having long-term clientele, right? You want to have clients to work with you for 10 years, not just a year or a couple of months or something like that. I think if you pressure someone into something that they don't want to buy, or maybe that it's good for you and not necessarily good for them, they're going to figure that out at some point. Somebody else is going to come around and tell them something that maybe you didn't want to tell them or, or something along those lines, or, or they're going to come along and be a little bit of a gentler force, make them feel more comfortable. You're not going to be able to keep that client. Your retention will not be as high, in my opinion, right? I think if you're just like hard, just in someone's face, just closing them like, I'm not getting off the phone, you know, Jordan Belfort, Wolf of Wall Street thing, the client must either buy or die before you hang up the phone kind of thing. Like, guys, look how that worked out for them. <laughs> Look at that worked out, right? For Jordan Belfry, you know, and 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 Stratton Oakmont. I'm not saying that those kind of sales tactics don't still have some kind of effect. And there are some situations, in my opinion, where you do have to essentially just nudge the client a little bit if it, you feel like it's good for them, and they're just having, they're just, you know, um, they're in a situation that they they they're just having a hard time making a decision. Sometimes it's help. It's good for you to help them make that decision. But guys, come from a place of compassion, right? Just be a nice person. Be a good person. You, you know, it's, it's kind of cliche, but clients always say like, oh, well, well, what would you do if I was your mom or your grandmother or your dad or your father or something like that? It might sound cliche, but 
look at it from the approach that they are a family member of theirs, of yours. Like, take that approach. You know what I mean? Like, just make sure that you're being gentle, compassionate, you're understanding where they're coming from, and you're trying to make a a recommendation that you feel is going to best benefit them. I really, really do believe you're going to do better than just, you know, pressure, 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 push and push and push and push and push and push and push. Um, Because you might get some people that give into your pressure and give into you you pushing, but they're not going to want to stay with you long term. They're not. If if the relationship starts off like that, it's probably not going to be a relationship that's they're going to feel good about going long term, right? That's just 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 my personal opinion, guys. There are some situations that that call for you to maybe applying a little bit of pressure if if you know it's good for them and they're just you know kind of being their own worst enemy a little bit. That that there are some situations that um, apply for that. But at the end of the day, I think your best results are going to be from being an educator, educating people, providing information without necessarily always asking for information in return. And people are going to want to do business with you. It's all about the premise behind content marketing, but it should also be a big part of your business building and and sales processes. Just be a resource for people. Make yourself valuable. And by making yourself valuable... People are going to be beating your door down to want to do business with you as an agent. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you agree with me? Am I wrong? Am I totally off? I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Drop a comment down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you think about what we had to talk about in this video today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. Share the video with your friends and family. It means a lot to me if you do so. And make sure to subscribe for future six-figure Medicare aging content. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.